Hey guys, how you doing today? <clears throat> I want to show you this beautiful plant. This is a syngonium. It is called, and I'm going to have a hard time pronouncing it. I'll put it up on the screen. But it, it's a Ethophyllum lanocarte syngonium. I'll put the name up on the screen. Now this is a gorgeous, gorgeous plant. You see all of the beautiful green front of the leaves and then the backs are just absolutely gorgeous. See how red they are? They're beautiful. But <clears throat> I've had her, I bought it as a cutting like maybe, I don't know, three years ago. You can see it's kind of, it's a pretty long plant. But I want to get her out of this pot today. I, wanna, I have a hanging pot. It's just about the same size. It's a little bigger. And I want to propagate this because I want to make my pot fuller. I have a small one in here that I propagated. Uh, I don't know when, sometime this summer, or this summer, last summer, and then this is the second propagation that I made on it, and I want to get a fuller pot, so I'm going to go ahead and propagate it, put it in my little propagation box down here, and get her into a hanging pot. So I'm going to get my little clippers and I am going to go ahead oop, and snip off the ends of this. And I'm only going to do one node because it roots. It's kind of hard to propagate. Um, at least a couple times that I tried it, it was. I would do like maybe four cuttings and then... I'd get maybe two, but um, hopefully with it being in the propagation box, it will do better instead of just directly in water. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to get my clippers. Okay, got my clippers. I had to look all over for them. I'm going to go ahead and just, these already have some pretty nice little node roots on them. So hopefully it will... propagate easily. So I'm just cutting node for node, cutting it about halfway in between each node. And there's a node on there. I'm going to go ahead and leave it. Maybe it will root. Cut that one. I think I'm going to do, I think four I think I'll put four or five in here. So I'm going to keep cutting because this is pretty long. So. And I watered this really good here a couple days ago. So she's all nice and hydrated. Let's see. I got one, two, one, two, three, four. There's five. Let's go ahead and do. I'm going to do another one. And. I'll do this one too and then I'll stop because it's still pretty darn long and I had it up hanging I had it up hanging on a macrame plant hanger and then I had it just like twirling around the macrame hanger and then I just kind of had it, I just kind of had it clipped up with clips but I want to get it into a an actual hanging pot because I decided I'm going to go ahead and let it hang, you know, hang down. So I'm going to move that. I don't know. I think she's been on this pot for a couple of years, so I don't have no idea. I'm going to have to watch out for this baby because I know she's probably going to fall out. I'm just going to give my pot a squeeze if I can. Okay, the baby fell out. Let me grab her so she don't get squished. 
See, look at the roots on that. And that's been in for a while, so I don't know. Now I do think we've got some stuck roots down here. I'm just kind of gently pulling them out. There we go. Get rid of that pot. That's a nice little pot, but I dropped it and cracked it. But I still use it, so... <laughs> Oh, and I got my plant all dirty. I want to see her roots. Yeah, they're not spectacular. That's my first cutting I ever put in. Her roots are good. They're better than that other one. So I'm just going to lay her down here. And I'm going to get I'm going to get my hanging pot and put her in that. Okay, the pot I was going to put her in was a lot bigger than the one I just took her out of. And since she doesn't have like a massive root system, I decided I'm going to put her in this little tiny, this smaller hanging pot. Um, I could get both of her cuttings back in with her. And then later, when those start rooting out, I'll probably put them in a separate pot, let them grow on a little bit. And then eventually pop her up another pot size. So I'm just going to fill up my pot. I'll go ahead and lay her down in here. This plant seems like it's a pretty slow grower. Um, it doesn't really, I wish I had a, I don't know if I have a date on when I got those. Well, it says 2019 for when I got it. I bought it as a cutting. So, it, it is a pretty slow grower. I'm going to go ahead and put that smaller one in last. I'll get her in over here. But she does like bright light, um, not direct sun, but just a nice bright light. Because I think with when you get plants that have these red, especially the ones with red on them, they seem like they like a little bit brighter light. And if I remember one time reading, this is correct, if I'm remembering correctly, these plants do like brighter light. And something about the red color on the back of their leaves, or even on the front of the leaves, helps to keep the sun from burning through the plant or something like that. I don't know. I'd have to try to read that, find that again, about red leaves or burgundy leaves. There. I think she'll do a little bit better in this pot. She might have been staying, even though Syngoniums like to have a moist soil, um, I think that pot might have been, since it was so big, it might have been holding a little bit too, mo too much moisture for her maybe too. I don't know. I'm not sure. Now I'm going to go ahead and get her up here. And then I got my you see there's still a lot of a lot of vine left. I don't want to cut too much off of her at one time and send her into a frenzy because she is a little on the a little on the picky side. I see in a video somebody had this plant. Uh, you don't see it very often, but I seen somebody had it growing and it was in a hanging pot all hanging down. It was really nice and full. And I really like the look of that. And I just don't have a whole lot more room for floor plants that have to have trellises on them. So and I love my hanging plants. Now what I think I might do is go ahead and take and just kind of string her up here like this. 
I'll get one of my clips. I have all these really nice clips from my orchids. When I buy orchids, they come on a stake with all these really cool little clips. I have a whole bunch of them, and I love using them when I can. And they're really perfect for hanging, hanging plants. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get you a little closer here. Okay. So I'm just going to take and just... Oh, I pulled her out of her... Pulled her right out of her little pot. I'm just going to kind of hang her up like this with my little clip. Clip her on like that. And then I'll just take this and kind of wrap her around for now. So that she's so long. And then I can still hang her up and I'll kind of put her like that maybe, I guess. And I'll clip this one on. I can figure out where to clip it. There we go. Now she can be <laughs> doing her wonky, do her wonky thing. Maybe I'll put her up a little higher. there. Okay, now I'm going to get my propagation box and we will get those propagations put in it. Alright, I got my little, my cute little propagation box that my husband brought home. I haven't been in it for a while. So, that was that little, uh, what is what was that? Dashidia hoyai. I don't know. Can't really tell if she had roots on her beforehand, so let's see. I'm gonna just kinda rearrange everybody. I might have to add yeah, it looks like I need to add a little more water. I was kinda oh, look at my Scandaptus. Um, Exotica. She's got a nice little root on her. See? Let's see if the other ones do. Get her back down in there. That one's getting one too. That's weird because these plants, for me, have always rooted slowly. I don't see nothing on that one. I'll try to just rearrange here a little bit. My husband made a good call when he brought this home for me. It's working out pretty good. Now this leaf is getting rotten, so I'm just going to I'm going to pinch it off, but it has roots, so as long as it don't, the stem don't rot, and it will re-push up, it will re-push up more roots. I'm going to move these over. Oh, this leaf is rotting. Let's see if I can get it off of here. Looks like it was just the looks like it was just the leaf that was on there. Well it was actually it was actually a new growth. So alright, I'll put her back over here, put this over there, and then we'll lay these guys in. And then I'll get a little more water in here. <coughs> I haven't put any more more water in since the day I did this. That perlite holds it pretty good along with the 
container. Yeah, I think I'll be able to get them all in okay. It's a pretty nice size container. This was an old, um, my husband brought it home for me from work. I think he said somebody had a, it was like a party platter. It had like meat and cheese and crackers or maybe vegetables or something in it. There, yeah, they all fit. I'll just add, and I got my squirt bottle here, I'll just add a little bit, I'll just add a little bit of moisture. There, that should be good. There was still a little bit of water in it, so and I'll go ahead and just give everybody a spray. While I'm at it, I like misting, so. Alright guys, um, I am going to let you go, that's it. We'll check back later and see how these guys are doing. So far a few of my exoticas are getting leaves, so, or roots, so that's great. I love that plant and I'd love to add more. I'd love to add more to her. This plant is doing, I guess, okay. We'll see better roots on this plant that's for sure than that one so far but all right guys I am gonna let you go and I will talk to you later have a good day bye peace